I'm here with Robbie Bugden, who has just come in third for race one here at Simmons Plains. Congratulations. Now, there was quite a collision at the start, but you managed to avoid it because you uh, were leading. Do you know what happened? No, not really. Like you say, I got um, first, uh, uh, you know, first start, I got a great start and was leading the thing and that was perfect for me and I was sort of just trying to just trying to settle in to get a really nice rhythm and then, yeah, the red flag came out. So that was, uh, that was really disappointing. And then, of course, the second start, uh, I didn't quite get the start I was after. So it... Uh, you know, left for a bit more work, but, um, you know, for all of us here at, uh, at Suzuki, um, you know, that's a pretty good result for us because, obviously, uh, you know, due to being in New Zealand, I didn't get to do the test here, so I, I feel like we're just that, that tiny little bit behind, um, you know, maybe Glenn, but, uh, you know, we were all working really well together and, you know, Dunlop tyres, uh, you know, really hanging in there and uh, Olin suspension, it's all, all coming together. So I think, um, you know, before too long, we should uh, hopefully see the Suzuki's number one and two instead of two and three. Um, second in race one. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm happy. You know, the G6R worked really well in the race and uh, just a little bit slow to get going. Not much confidence as yet. It's my real first real race, so a little bit slow to get going. But the bike, the team gave me a great bike and uh, it worked well. So we'll go to the drawing board and make a few small changes and help me get some confidence uh, to get going. And then uh, after that, we'll see what we can do tomorrow. It's a long year and it's only uh, race one of the year. Yeah, and your old teammate, Hookie, had a bit of an incident. Yeah, it was a shame to see those guys go down. Chaz has been going really well in the, you know, in the privateer Suzuki. So, and uh, young Hookie, it's never so nice to see anyone crash, but thankfully he bounced back and hopefully Chaz can bounce back for race two tomorrow. Fantastic. How are you feeling about the race tomorrow? We'll wait and see. We've got a long warm-up in the morning, so we'll try a few things. And uh, I collected some good data out of that one. Riding around other guys always shows my weaknesses or your, my strengths, so we'll work on a little bit on the weaknesses, and uh, hopefully that'll help the strengths some as well, and we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Lovely. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was a really good race. So I got the start that I wanted after the red flag. It was a big crash down the bottom there. Um, and it basically got the gap that I wanted to get straight away and um, and then I just decided to try and conserve a little bit, not push too hard. And then uh, there was a bit of a problem there with a blow up with Linda, my teammate unfortunately, and uh, there was some oil on the track and it basically made it really hard to um, yeah to, to push because there was oil all the way across the race line in the fastest tra- corner on the track. So yeah, had to back off for that oil but um, yeah, it was uh, it was okay. We we got we got the result that we wanted in the end by winning the race. And every point's important. Twenty five points in the bank is an awesome start to the year. Yeah, it is a fantastic start to you. Do you know actually what happened with Lyndon? Any reports yet? No. Um, obviously, the, there's something terminal with the engine. Um, I'm only guessing, but uh, yeah, because there's oil on the track. Obviously, it's had a pretty big hemorrhage, and you know, it's probably a hole in the engine cases somewhere. But no idea what's happened. Uh, unfortunate for him because he's looking pretty strong this weekend, starting um, from the front row. It's uh, you know our um, next gen motorsports team will get in there and put a new engine in his bike, and he'll be out there tomorrow.